Watch out, man. Here I come, man. I like to say, man, man. It's me, Shakes. You know, the guy who's always sticking his nose in other people's business. Blargar, blargar. Blah, blah, blargar. Yes, brilliant. Thanks, Tony. <laughs> Not you, Chuck T. Jefferson. My Technovision glasses. The glasses you are wearing are the perfect training device. I can load any player from any team into your field of vision. I've even got managers, reporters, all kinds of stuff. I don't know, Tony. These things make me feel like I'm going crazy. Oh, wait. There we go. Better? Hi, Tony. Can I try the movie glasses? John J. Johnson, Jr., you're supposed to be sorting out the vermin problem. You don't need to worry about this gun, Tony. I've taken care of it. The stink bag is finally gone. You'll never see that skunk again. <laughs> you give me those glasses right now! <laughs> Technovision isn't a toy. It should only be used for training. Or sabotage. <laughs> Say hello to the biggest star in Hollywood. <laughs> no, really, I must be like 20 feet high. El Matador, you've scored 10 goals in four games. What is the secret to your phenomenal form? Well, Lena, when I look my best, I play my best. The shiny teeth. The giant head. The perfect hair. The incredible self-indulgence. And the finishing touch. My custom design, super expensive, one of a kind glasses. Ooh. Ouch! Nobody touches the glasses. They're so copyright protected, if I tried to make another one, I'd have to sue myself. Hurry up, El Matador. Coach is waiting. You can't rush perfection. Ugh. <laughs> Dude takes more showers in a day than I do in a month. Uh, well, it's working. Celebrity Stalker magazine says El Matador is the hottest player in the Super League right now. What? They were handing them out for free on the plane. Uh, no, they weren't. We got here on the striker jet. <laughs> <laughs> El Matador is the best. My redesign worked. It's the perfect replica. With a bit of Technovision magic, of course. Huh? Oh. I'm looking great. <laughs> Gonna score lots of goals today. You <laughs> a skunk! I'm getting out of here! The skunk. Mm. Oh, it stinks! When I get my hands on you, I'm gonna... Drap. Hmm, my glasses feel kinda weird. Did you guys mess with them? Nobody touched your glasses, man. Yeah, don't want to get sued. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's get down to business. First of all, we'll map our defensive response. Tony? We'll expecting tight defense around the goal. Nope, but there. A staggered defense. Tony even lets super strikers use the movie glasses. Hmm. If I can't use the movie glasses, maybe I can make the movies. <laughs> it's so time! Technicali have been very good in attack, overwhelming the opposition with their numbers. But pushing all their men forward leaves the defense exposed. Huh. And we got just the man to make them pay. Right, El Matador? Huh? Mm -hmm. El Matador! I swear something feels weird about my glasses. <sighs> Let's do it, guys. We gotta be prepared for Technicali. Yeah, who knows what that madman Tony Verne is up to. Day one. It stinks so much. I have stuffed El Matador's socks into my nose to block out the smell. It isn't working. I got it! <laughs> no, you don't! Oh. What 
should I do for my first scene? El Matador! Can I get a photo? Uh, who do you work for? I only appear in A-list magazines. Uh, um... Ponytail magazine? Oh, of course. Uh, just make sure you get my good side. Go! And cut. What a scene. John J. Johnson, <gasps> Jr.? What are you doing in my lab? Oh, nothing, Tony. <laughs> Ew! What's that smell? I don't want to talk about it. A matador. I was wide open. Sorry, Shakes. I was going to pass, but that reporter wanted my photo for the cover of Ponytail Magazine. Uh, <laughs> what reporter, dude? That guy, right over... Huh? He must have already got what he needed. I am very photogenic. Anyway, a good practice, guys. I'm gonna go take a shower. Did you guys see a reporter? <laughs> According to Pointless Gossip Magazine, El Matador is showing artist signs of a celebrity breakdown. I bought it for a friend, okay? Oh, yeah? What's his name? Never mind that. It says that the clear signs of a complete mental breakdown are paranoia. He was convinced someone touched his glasses. Hallucinations. Like the invisible reporter from Ponytail Magazine. <laughs> Anything else we should be looking out for, man? An urge to trash hotel rooms. <gasps> How about locker rooms? What? I'm sorry, El Matador, but this is for your own good. What is? A celebrity intervention! Get him! Uh, how many times do I have to tell you guys? Some mysterious intruder messed with my glasses, a skunk trashed our locker room, and the reporter took my photo at practice. Uh, denial is a clear sign of a celebrity breakdown. You guys are just jealous that they chose me for the cover of Ponytail Magazine. I looked it up. There's no such thing as Ponytail Magazine. Yeah, dude. Ponytails went out of fashion in the 80s. How dare you? Uh, Shakes, uh, you believe me, right? Uh, I... I uh... Fine. I'm going to go hang out with someone who knows what it's like to be a big superstar. <laughs> all right, all right, we get it. That went well. <sighs> I'll go speak to him. Well, hurry up or you'll lose him, Shakes. Well, not unless you know the big superstar he's going to hang with. But we are in Hollywood. That could be anyone. Don't worry. There's only one big superstar El Matador listens to. Oh, El Matador. It's tough being a misunderstood, rich, incredibly handsome soccer star. I know how you feel. Huh? John J. Johnson Jr.? Tony never trusts me to do anything. But he's not here. <laughs> but I still believe in myself, no matter what anyone says. Uh, do you always go out dressed like that? Uh... The 80s are back. Spandex is totally fashionable. <laughs> you should tell that to North Shaw. My ponytail is so in. Congratulations on making the cover of Ponytail Magazine, by the way. Why, thank you. Hey, how did you know about that? Uh, news travels fast in Hollywood. OK, this is my big chance. What do all good movies need? <gasps> Drama. El Matador, what's wrong? Uh, my teammates think I've gone crazy. Say, do you hear that music? Mm-mm. Drama. Check. What else? Action! Mm -hmm. uh, uh, ninjas! Uh, what are we gonna do, John J. Johnson Jr.? Uh, what do you want? We are jealous of your awesome ponytail. Give it to us or face the consequences. You want my ponytail? Come and get it. So be it. Bro, we're bros, and bros shouldn't fight. Right, bro? Nah, lame. El Matador, we're all just worried about you. C come back. Pfft, sound like his mom. El Matador, being in a team is all about trust. What I'm trying to say is, I don't think you're... 
Ninjas were after my ponytail. El Matador, I think you should look at this. Huh? <laughs> oh, man. Klaus was right. I am having a celebrity breakdown. A game against Technicali. It's tomorrow. Oh, shakes. What am I gonna do? Maybe you need to sit it out? You wouldn't tell Coach, would you? Dude. We have a chance to beat Technicali on their home turf. Come on! I'm your friendly, super reliable gold getting strike partner. I'll be fine. <laughs> Match day at the hub. And it looks like Technicali are sticking to their attacking formation. With El Matador in red hot form, they'll be torn apart. So, Shakes, dude. What happened with the Lord of the Shower Rings over there? Yeah, is he seeing things all way? Is he in the right frame of mind to play? Well... Hey, guys! Yeah? What are you talking about? Yeah, uh, like I was saying, he's totally fine. Day two. The smell isn't going away. But I must remain focused on my mission. All right, El Matador, it's showtime! And we're off! <laughs> Cheeky shakes! And highly effective! <laughs> El Matador has an early opportunity here! He's clean through! Huh? Where'd you guys come from? From your worst nightmare! Shakes, back to you! Instead of shooting, El Matador passes to a marked man! It works! I'm a genius! Wide open, dude. Yeah, I know. Oh. Oh, trouble here for Super Strikers. Electrifying stuff from the Technicali boys. Technicali achieve on their first try what El Matadors failed to do the entire half. Dude, you're not handling the pressure. I gotta tell Coach about. Ah, whatever, Shakes. It's like John J. Johnson Jr. said. I gotta believe in myself no matter what anyone says. Wait, when did you see him? Uh, last night, just before the ninja attack. He wasn't real, was he? <laughs> but if El Matador wasn't lying about the skull, then... John, who's on the cover of this month's Ponytail Magazine? El Matador, obviously. Uh, I mean, i uh, never heard of Ponytail Magazine. Uh, gotta go. Bye. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Shakes knows about Technovision. Oh, I gotta fix this. Hey, I thought those glasses were only meant for training. Tony? Why did Tony ask us to meet him here? Tony! Oh. Oh, yes! Much better! What have you done? It wasn't me. It was the skunk. I'm talking about El Matador's glasses. I thought you might need a little help with, uh, you know, winning. Oh. oh, quit moaning. You have a goal. But I want goals fair and square. Now listen, El Matador is being subbed as we speak. Hang back, defend your lead, and the game is yours. Any questions? Yeah. What's that smell? Oh. I think it's obvious that one of us has a serious problem. All right, I admit it. I am addicted to the gossip magazines. I need help. 
You were talking about El Matador, weren't you? Guys, I just saw a skunk! Uh, good for you, dude. Don't you get it? It means El Matador wasn't lying about trashing the locker room. And that's not all. John J. Johnson Jr. knows about Ponytail Magazine. How would he know about a made-up magazine? Because he's the one who made it up. So what is going on? Whoa, whoa, easy there, brother. <gasps> oh, God. Okay, keep cool, John J. Johnson Jr. You gotta get to El Matador before Shakes does. Hmm? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Hi, El Matador. Uh, listen, buddy, I'm not feeling that good, so when I come back into the change room in a moment, I may be acting a little crazy. Ha! You know the rules, Shanks. Uh, I'm calling my law. Oh. <laughs> hmm? So you just ignore everything I say. We need you on the field for the second half. Okay, he's gone. Huh? Tony Byrne swapped your glasses for some kind of VR projection goggles. I... I'm not crazy. Can you play without your glasses? No, coach. Then I'm gonna have to sub you. Uh, Tony Byrne sabotaged my game and made you guys think I was crazy and worst of all, touch my glasses. You gotta let me get back at him. Hmm. The two sides emerge for the second half, and first out is El Matador. I'm surprised he's on the field at all after his terrible first half performance. They didn't sub him? Oh, well, El Matador, you're about to find out what this baby can really do. El Matador on the attack. Can he find some form in the second half? Ha! I'd be surprised if he can even find the ball the way he's been playing. <laughs> 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 Oh, you got past two players. Here's ten more! What's he gonna do, people? He's gonna pass to himself. Oh! Technovision is meant to make him worse, not better! How about some special effects to liven things up? <laughs> Touches the glasses. Tail magazine. <laughs> That'll do. Back to me. <laughs> Eat this, Fido. Amazing. Unbelievable. than being crazy. <laughs> Sorry we didn't trust you, man. Ah, don't worry. It was Tony's fault. Are we gonna teach that sucker a lesson? Well, Spiteful Teen Magazine has an article on the 10 best ways to get back at an ex-BFF. Don't worry, guys. I already know how to make Tony pay. Get your high-tech augmented reality technoglasses right here 
<sighs> At least I can make my money back on these stupid things. <laughs> Boss, I found some people interested in the movie glasses. Ah, welcome, welcome. And who do I have the pleasure of doing business with? El Matador's lawyers. We're here to talk to you about copyright infringement. <gasps> what is that smell? I <sighs> don't want to talk about it. Accuracy, boys. Yeah. Looking good, Captain. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. good isn't good enough. Oh, come on, Coach. Coach, we're totally awesome! No? Take a look at this. Colonel Von Pushup, you just crushed Hydra in their home waters. How'd you do it? Johan Uber's marshalling into midfield was visionary. Thor's shooting was unstoppable. And no one can get past our newest weapon, the Mangler. <laughs> Are you confident you can execute the same against Super Strikers next week? The Fortress Stadium may be up in the mountains, but Super Strikers are going down. <sighs> this is Lena Long, Football 360, signing out. Feeling warm and looking good. This is why I never pack light. Coach, uh, can we have our secret training mission somewhere warmer? I want you all ready for the extreme cold before we play at the Fortress Stadium. That's not gonna help us if we can't get past the Mangler. Dude's super scary. It's like he reacts before you even kick the ball. That's why we have this. A ball? This new plan of yours is pure genius, Coach. This isn't any ball. Whoa. It's GPS chipped for tracking speed, air pressure, and direction. If you can kick the ball harder than 100 miles an hour, you can beat the Mangler. Man, that's fast. Never stop believing. It is possible, Shakespeare. Right, guys? <laughs> Dot the spirit block. Arr. Drago? Super Strikers, this is your pilot speaking. Please fasten your seatbelts. We're in for an interesting landing. Ah! Attention, Iron Tank! This is your coach speaking! Ah, we can hear you. We are right here, Colonel. Colonel, I have picked up a nearby GPS signal. All the way out here? Hmm. Directive, directive change, change course! course. Ah, directive understood. Smooth landing, hey boys? Man, too smooth. <laughs> Big Bull, your mangler for the afternoon. Sure thing. How's this? <laughs> Not bad. The rest of you, let's get to it. <laughs> Make it fast, Shakes. Sure thing, Coach. <laughs> Bring it. <laughs> what?
It's Super Strikers. What are they doing here? Directive Lippery! Of all the icebergs they could run into, it had to be ours? Blah, blah, blah. Smooth, smooth, smooth. Talking in code. Very clever. Colonel, the chipped object is moving. Directive, find the source of the signal. Already have. Let me see. A GPS ball? I think I know what Super Strikers are up to. Vaughn push-up. If I'd known you were visiting, I would have tidied up. Well, considering we are here, how about a little friendly? You're on. Mm. <laughs> Colonel, the ball reached 72 miles an hour. Ha! Takes more than that to beat the mangler. Shakes, man! Hands up! Yes! Colonel! Dancing Rasta beats the mangler! What? Directive! Get the ball! Directive understood. That was amazing, Captain. How did you do it? You won't believe what happened. I... Huh? Where's he off to? <gasps> the ball! Captain, wait! Iceberg now. We're all taking a long, cold swim. Come on, Captain. Feeling so cold yet? I'm just getting warmed up, man. <laughs> Time to blow the lid on your mission. Don't worry, guys. I know just how to wake him up. <gasps> oh, dude. 
Nope, he's out cold. Ah! Ah! Dude, you killed him! <gasps> Sorry, cold messes with our equipment all the time. Is he gonna be okay, Doc? Your captain's had a serious shock to the system. His body isn't used to such extreme cold. Unfortunately, I can't say what will wake him up. He could be asleep for a few hours, or... Or... or what? Or... a very long time. Captain, when you awaken, you will be in this foreign place without the necessities of life. So I leave you this gift. The world's most powerful hairdryer. Technical difficulties? Yeah, water damage. Don't worry. Keeping our equipment running in this court has taught me that sometimes all you need is a little bit of improvisation. <laughs> Targets reacquired. Directive. Lippy! The hair dryer trick works every time. How long will it take to dry out? Hmm, difficult to say, but I'll call you as soon as I can access the data. Directive! <gasps> Stay out! Stay out! Stay out! Stay out! I really hate the loudspeaker. Match day at the Fortress Stadium, Brenda, and the teams are warm enough. But without dancing Rasta, will Super Strikers be left out in the cold, Mac? Uh, is that what I think it is? Uh-huh. <laughs> you sure you didn't see how Rasta did that power kick? You were right there, brother. Heads up! The mist was too thick. I couldn't see. Huh. Frozen ball, a frozen captain, and a frozen brain. Great! Come on! There's nothing we can do about the ball right now, Shakes. Concentrate on the game. Super Strikers are no nearer to beating the Mangler. Dancing Rasta! Dancing Rasta! Dan I guess they really do need Dancing Rasta, hmm? Mac, but he's... he's nowhere to be seen. Yes! <laughs> Directive, move on target. Directive understood. Hello, Doc. Great news. All the data is still intact. Are you with the ball now? No. Why? Approaching target. I would take her after the ball. Don't worry. I'm right next door to... Hey.
Don't even think about it. No! My doctor, I prescribe lots of rest. <clears throat> Captain, huh? you're okay. Ah, oh, everyone's gonna be so relieved. And you can tell us how you beat the mangler. Sure. One thing though. Shoot, Captain. Who are you again? You knew that ball was our best shot, so you tried to steal it again. Yeah, well, it seemed easier than stealing Rasta. <laughs> well, you should have stolen Rasta. Huh? Hmm. Hmm? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Welcome yeah! back, Rasta. Welcome back, dude! Great to meet you. Uh -huh. Oh, right. Shakes told me. We're teammates. This is a cruel disease. How can anyone forget me? I want to help you guys, but how can I be the captain of the Super Strikers? Hmm. Huh? <laughs> well, if anything's gonna remind you who you are, it's this. Thanks, Shakes. Shakespeare, eh? The real Rasta calls me Shakespeare. Well, he's not here right now, okay? The return of their captain, even from the sidelines, could be just the charm Super Strikers need. Well, he'd better work his magic soon, because Super Strikers are running out of time. Whoa. Play intensifies, Johan Uber takes things a bit too far. You and your captain are as ineffective as each other. Shakespeare! It was it was just Shakespeare. What's he what's he saying? That's easy. It was downward pressure. Shakespeare. Mm -hmm. Captain on ice, Super Strikers are looking directionless. So, what's the plan? Stand on the ball. Uh, brilliant! Uh, no, wait. The exact opposite of that. Downward pressure, push down on the ball, and it'll shoot out like a rocket. Where do you get this crazy idea from? Dancing Rasta. Um, which Dancing Rasta? He's back, El Matador. He called me Shakespeare. Ugh, guess we got nothing to lose. Except the game, right? Come on, Shakes and El Matador. Time's a ticking. Final chance of the game.
<laughs> Team effort, as usual. Now come on, guys, let's go home. I've had enough of this cold. Hey, check it out. Directive Scrub! I really, really hate the loudspeaker. I guess Iron Tank's performance was really substandard. <laughs> Sir? Sir? You can't park here. Why not? Is this not a reasonable place to park? Reasonable? You're parked on the lawn! <laughs> Sorry! I can't be late for my big moment! Well, folks, we've had plenty of worthy winners, but now it's time for the number one prize. The big fish, the crown jewel, the golden boot! Ah, I'm just in time for my award. Nice of you to join us, El Matador. Yeah, only two hours late. Award ceremonies are so boring. Yep. Keep telling yourself that, Shakes. It'll make it easier for you when I win the golden boot. And the, and nominees, the nominees are... Oh, here's my moment. Rihanna from, from Barca, Barca FC. FC. El, El Matador from, from Super Strikers. Strikers. <laughs> Scar from, from Invincible United. United. And Shakes from Super Strikers. And the winner is... And the winner... Didn't win. What? Huh? Well done, my friend. But I'm not gonna make it this easy for you next year. <laughs> Wouldn't expect any less, dude. Once again, your team carries you to the trophy. Well, maybe you should try to pass to your team once in a while. It really helps win those trophies. Please, look at him. Oh, huh? If it was just you versus me, I'd win every time. Pity there isn't the biggest cheat award, because then you would win every time. Wow, guys. Oh, guys. First, First Super Strike has won the league, league last season, and now this? I couldn't, I couldn't have done it without my team. team. You hear that? I, he couldn't have done it without me. Well, well anyway, anyway thanks, thanks, everyone. everyone. Looking forward to an even bigger challenge next season. <laughs> Why wait till next season, Shakes? Mr. Shakes, what's this? Dear Shakes, Miss Altivo invites you to her private island for a soccer challenge like no other. Ah, oh, come on! You get the golden boot and the fancy golden letter? No fair. Mr. Matador. Now that's more like it. Dear El Matador, your car has been towed. Huh? Ah! You really thinking of going to that island, Shakespeare? Well, it would be nice to do something different. But you're going to miss out on the end of season barbecue at Dancing Rasta's house. Relaxing in the sun. Listening to groovy tunes. And chowing down as much delicious grub as we can fit in our bellies. It is important to take a break, Ma. Don't worry. I'll be fine. What's that, Skara? Payback. We'll be landing shortly. Welcome to El Tebo's Island. Whoa. Shakes. Ah! El Matador, what are you doing here? Eh, my invite must have got lost in the post. <laughs> Very funny, Shakes. <laughs> shakes? Hey, guys. Hey, shakes. Hey, what's, hey, what's happening, man? dude? Well, well, well. 
It's Mr. Golden Boot himself. I see you're about your babysitter shakes. <laughs> the only thing I sit on is chairs. And sometimes the ground when there are no chairs available. So what's this all about? I don't know. Haven't seen anyone since we got here. Huh, probably trying to sell us timeshare. Gentlemen. I'm offering something much more exciting than that. <laughs> The challenge of a lifetime. An idyllic tropical island converted into the ultimate testing ground for the ultimate footballers. Dribbling, balance, stamina. This is your chance to test your skills against your greatest opponents. Then, the last two standing will face off in the ultimate soccer showdown. And why should we play in your little tournament? Yeah, what's in it for us? A chance to find out which of you is truly the greatest player of your generation. But if any of you aren't feeling up to the challenge, my planes are available to take you home. Yeah. Why don't you losers go home and have a skinny frappa dappuccino? I'll stay here and win. Not a chance, Scara. Oh, you gotta stay, Shakes. I'm gonna show everyone why I should have won the golden boot. All right, let's do this. I'm so sorry, El Matador. My tournament is for award winners only. Cruel fate! Why do you hate me? Why don't you just go and relax in the VIP lounge? Hmm. <sighs> There's a complimentary gift bag. Gift bag, eh? It will be mine! For the rest of you, destiny awaits. Good luck! I'll see you at the finish line. <laughs> if you survive that long. <laughs> Ready for some good old holiday fun, eh, Shakes? Yeah, just wish I'd brought my swimming trunks. Ah, it's good to take a break from football, man. So, here's the game plan. No chop. Watch the rear. Rump is sizzling, Captain. Cool Joe. Keep working them wings. Gotcha, brother. Twisting tiger. Make some space in the center. Ah! Already on it. El Matador, you... El Matador? Where's El Matador? Probably running late. Again. Uh, guys, you got to see this. This is the biggest TV I have ever seen in my whole life. It's a beautiful day, Klausmann. Why don't you come outside? But the television has 3D. Um, outside is 3D. Yeah, but does outside have a built-in built karaoke, karaoke function? function? La, la. Run for your lives, brothers. <laughs> la. Do not trip or slip or fumble when you rumble in the jungle. Oh, out the way, puny man child. Super Strikers may have finished top of the log, but you know nothing of jungle combat. This pathetic island is like under 13 training at Iron Tanker! Ah! Whoa. Intense, bros. Yeah, looks dangerous. <laughs> Race you. <laughs> Guys, the log! Super Strike has finished top of the log. Yeah, we get it. No, the log! Ah, come on. No golden boot, no golden ticket, and now I can't even find the VIP lounge. This sucks. Oh. Station one, 
Almost through the rumble in the jungle. Excellent. Station two, the pillar thriller is uh, ready for action. Eh, uh, those challenges are nothing compared to finding the VIP lounge. More like very impossible to find lounge. Scara, you jerk! Why did you take out Laquito? Yeah. yeah, most dishonorable. You losers can hold hands and sing Kumbaya, but I'm here to win. Uh, guys, we've got a problem. A big problem. Keep the ball up on the pillar thriller, and try not to fall. The drop's quite a killer. Huh? Did you guys hear that? Hear what? Exactly. That's a long way down. Hey! Over here! You ready to join the team? Just pass it! Chuck, don't! <laughs> Yeah, we've been over this. I'm a bad, bad boy. Now, which one of you losers should I take out next? Bingo. Scara, sad to see you eliminated. Our audience was loving your rivalry with Shakes. Audience? What audience? <laughs> you were on my brand new reality show. Standing by. Soccer Island. Pillar Thriller. Scara fails, Shakes prevails. There are four superstars left. But only two will make it to the Volcano Showdown, and only one will be crowned the King of Soccer Island. This whole thing is fake? I prefer the term scripted reality. Now, why don't you catch the rest of the show in the VIP lounge? And watch Shakes win? Yeah, right. I've had enough of Loser Island. Dudes, that looks so good. Oh, yum. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> Not so fast. Just a few more minutes, man. I want this meat cooked to perfection. Guys, you gotta come see this. Hey, Klaus, how many times we gotta tell you we're not gonna listen to you sing karaoke? No, you guys really gotta come see this. <sighs> Shakes is on TV. His big secret elite tournament is... A celebrity reality show? <sighs> reality TV is so lame. It's all fake, you know? Totally scripted. Come on, guys. <laughs> the barbecue waits for no one. Yeah! 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 Who is in hot enough form to make it to the volcano in Flamo? An epic final showdown above scorching lava. Could watch for a few minutes. <laughs> Is this the VIP lounge? Pouches seem comfy. Not sure about the weird decor, though. But no gift bag. Huh? Please, oh please. Uh, I'll never find the VIP lounge. Why are you even bothering? They won't let you in. You didn't win an award. Uh, yeah, except for the Super League trophy. Heard of that one? Whatever. Huh? What do we have here? Time to give you losers a dose of real reality. Let's 
want this party. Altivo, we found the source of the interference. Auxiliary control room three. Scara. I'll call security. No, I have a better idea. If there's one thing the audience loves more than a hero, it's a bad, bad villain. Volcano soccer, here we come. You know I'm not going easy on you, my friend. Wouldn't expect any less, dude. Shinx and Riano head for the final challenge, but they don't know that an evil force is at work. What? Scara? Dude! Told you it's all fake. Why would Scara be in the control room? If I can't win, no one will. <laughs> Some holiday this turned out to be, hey, Shakes? Don't worry. I got you, dude. I don't think so, my friend. It looks like I let you off easy again. No! Come on, Shakes! Come on! Come on. Come on. Come on. I guess this means Shakes has won it! All right, I'll admit it. This is kind of cool. For reality TV. Kind of cool? That's the most insane thing I've ever seen! Wow. It's like I can actually smell the smoke from the volcano. Oh, no, man. The barbecue. OK, are we done here, Altivo? Riano's out. I'm the only one left. Huh? The game's changed, Shakes. Ah! No! no. Come on. How did you get back into the tournament? Oh, wait. Let me guess. You cheated. Boo-hoo! Pity there's no ref for you to winch to, no teammates to carry you, and no Super League rules to hide behind. Now we'll see who's really the best. He's a natural. Audience is waiting. Let's get the ball rolling. Shall we? <laughs> you lose, Shakes. No matter how many trophies you win, you'll always know that one on one, I'm the king. Huh? Rocket! Uh, oh, brother. I can't look. Uh, 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 now the whole world's gonna see who deserves the golden boot. What are you talking about? Cheer, slow. None of this is real. You're on reality TV, Shakes. But not for much longer. <gasps> huh? Uh -huh. <gasps> what? Uh, Shakes! If we're on TV, your ratings are about to take a dive. VIP room? I just can't win. El Matador wins! How did he get up there? I don't know, Miss Altivo. He's supposed to be in the VIP room. 
They fought through the jungle, balanced above the abyss, held their nerve in the murky depths, and battled it out above a fiery volcano. But only one player had the skill, bravery, and stamina to become the first ever champion of Soccer Island. <laughs> I always knew I had it in me. <laughs> what is Soccer Island? All that planning, all that hard work. You can't control everything, Miss Altivo. It is reality TV. You're fired! You idiot! You let him win? He's not even supposed to be here! Why don't you complain to the ref? All right, there isn't one. Thanks, dude. Thanks, dude. I'm glad you're all right, man. Me too, my friend. So what do you think of Soccer Island? Well, it's not every day I get to play on top of a volcano. Duh. You people make me want to puke. I'm going to the VIP lounge. This is a great honor. Now, where's my gift bag? I won. But he didn't even have a golden ticket. What did I say? Fake. Maybe it's meant to be a twist ending? Yeah, the twist is we just wasted our afternoon. At least we still have the delicious food. Huh? Uh, no! 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 Reality TV sucks. Told you. Totally sucks, dudes.